Hello students, drawings help you to understand a topic better and also help you with a better recall. Let's begin drawing the blood supply of long bone by first drawing the long bone. Cover up the ends of long bone with the help of articular cartilage on both the sides. Draw the epiphyseal cartilage clearly. And now draw the compact bone. With this we have some basic parts of the bone. Let's color up these parts quickly. That's the bone part. That's the compact bone. And that is your articular cartilage. Let's now take a red pen and begin to draw the blood supply to this bone. Okay. So the first artery we're going to talk about is the nutrient artery, which as it begins to travel towards the bone becomes very tortuous. It enters into the bone by passing through nutrient foramen and immediately divides into an ascending and a descending branch. The ascending branch now gives out a lot of small branches that form such hairpin-like loops in the region of metaphysis on both the sides. So you will find such loops in both the epiphysis at the upper end as well as the lower end. The artery also gives rise to branches that enter into the compact bone, supplying inner two-third of the bone along with bone marrow. This is the first artery. The second artery that supplies bone are the periosteal arteries. They are numerous at places where muscles are attached to the bone and these enter inside from beneath the periosteum, supplying outer one third of the bone. Third artery is metaphyseal artery. These are branches from anastomoting arcade around the joint. They enter into the metaphysis to anastomose with branches that are forming uh, that have entered into the metaphyseal region. Finally, the last branch, the epiphyseal artery, which is again a branch of anastomotic arcade or blood vessels around the joint, it enters into the epiphysis supplying the epiphyseal region of bone, also participates in anastomosis at the metaphysis. Okay, so this, my dear students, is a very simple diagram showing you how to draw the blood supply of long bone. Now all you have to do is add the labels and your job is done. Thank you so much students.